So it's day two of the talks here and on day one Canada got highlighted by civil society groups for the detrimental role they're playing and for, for really causing a lot of trouble here. What is it they've been doing? Well Canada has backed out of their Kyoto Protocol commitments and we are really interfering with progress on the international stage through actually lobbying on behalf of our fossil fuel industry in the United States and Europe to try and weaken their uh, emissions reductions targets and their climate change legislation. Um, what, what kind of lobbying have they been doing? What, 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 what have the implications been at these talks? Well, for one, the Canada has been lobbying against the European Union Fuel Quality Directive and uh, at these negotiations we see them negotiating uh, not in good faith, not working towards a fair legally binding agreement but instead negotiating on the behalf of polluters in Canada, the tar sands industry and oil companies in Canada. And why would they be doing that? Why does the tar sands matter so much to Canada? There's a very heavy uh, lobby by the industry in Canada. The industry is heavily funding our, our government and then likewise you see in the other direction Canada is, uh, when they are promoting the tar sands, they're doing so by using studies partially funded by this fossil fuel industry and there's this really close connection between the industry and the government and they're not taking into account the people instead they're they're negotiating on behalf of polluters and not on behalf of the people the people who want like green and fair jobs who want to see emissions reduced to a level that will prevent dangerous climate change that would impact vulnerable people in Canada and around the world and the, the tar sands have been described as a carbon bomb waiting to be set off. I think um, NASA's climate scientist James Hansen said it's game over for the climate if, if these are, uh, uh, start to be produced. Is there a lot of activism in Canada to try and prevent it? Absolutely. Not only are they game over for the climate, but they are violating the rights of the Indigenous people living downstream from this dangerous and toxic development. And uh, that's why we're uh, demanding that the government and the subsidy, the over a billion dollar a year subsidy they provide to the fossil fuel industry and why we're demanding that they stop the expansion of the tar sands and pipeline expansion and transition to a green economy, a renewable economy instead. And how has your government received these uh, demands and, and this activism from, from Canadian campaigners? Uh, well, so, so far, as you see, our environment minister continues uh, to come out with uh, statements against international action, they, uh, international climate action continues to negotiate on behalf of the tar sands and the oil industry uh, but we're not going to stop and we're going to get uh, louder and bring more people onto our side. More people are going to start to really see how, how detrimental this is to our country and so we're going to keep uh, keep the pressure on and just increase it and increase it until they can't ignore us. Uh, so yesterday we launched a uh, a line of clothing, a new line of clothing for Canada's negotiators called Bitumenswear and they are were suits for our negotiators covered in the patches of oil companies to show who the government is negotiating on behalf of, uh, the fact that they're negotiating on behalf of polluters and not people. And so we would need to expose that and we need to put the pressure on. So we have this campaign as well across Canada and in Durban, Operation Oil Change, that is pushing for that transformation away from this fossil fuel industry. And we're going to keep going and keep working hard because there's no other option. And of course your environment minister is due to, to arrive in Durban next week. Do you think the Canadian youth delegation will have a suitable welcome for him? 
Absolutely. We will uh, greet him <laughs> with, with what uh, with our message and make sure that he knows and that the people at home know uh, what what he's doing and how detrimental that is domestically and internationally and we're just gonna push until uh, push in Durban here when he arrives and continue to push in Canada and youth across Canada are are behind us and are a part of this movement and we're going to make him put people before polluters. Thanks very much for joining us and we'll catch up with you later in the uh, talks to see how things have gone. Thanks so much Adam.